Hey everyone, it's been about two years now since I made my last video on is solar worth it? So after four years, I wanted to give you an update and see how it's been going. So uh, just a quick recap, in my last video, I concluded that these solar panels right here would be saving me $26,000 uh, over the course of 25 years. Um, so I wanna go back, look at the math, see how we're progressing, and if we're actually on track to do that as well as answer some of the uh, big questions and common questions that I got on my last video. Um, so let's dive into it. All right, so now let's look at the numbers and how I've fared over the past four years. Um, we're gonna start with 2018, uh, June, early June is when I got my system turned on. Um, so we're gonna do the last seven months from 2018 and we're gonna do the first five months of 2022. Um, to, and altogether, that's four years total, right? So let's look at the uh, kilowatt hours produced in those four years has been 49,000 or around 12,300 per year. Now they had said to me that I would be producing about 12,300 per year. So we're literally right on track. Now they did tell me that, uh, and I got a lot of comments on this, that the system um, would degrade over time. So basically this was the, um, the yearly annual guaranteed percentage that it would produce. Um, it's already producing way more than this. So I would assume to you know, raise these numbers by around 2000 um, per year. But you know, the, over the 25 years, they're gonna degrade to about 80%, 85% efficiency, which really isn't too bad at all. Um, now let's look at the electric bills that I've had. I've averaged about 378. Um, those all come in like the winter months. Obviously, I'm producing more than uh, than I need in, in the, the summer, but I'm consuming a little bit more in the winter when I don't um, get all of that solar per month and you know there's less uh, sunlight. The solar payments, uh, this is very consistent. It's been $181 per month, so that um, $2,100 per year. Um, no surprise there, that uh, there will never be unless I decide to like, you know, pay off some early, which I don't plan on. Um, then let's look at the S-Tracks. These, these have been great. So because I'm actually producing more than I thought I was going to, I actually get more in S-Tracks as well, uh, right? So I'm getting around 2,600 in S-Tracks per year. So if we look at the, the net, so we'll, we'll add these S-Tracks and then we'll just subtract the solar payments and then my electric bills, you know, I'm actually making $462 now that I have solar, um, you know, over these, these, these four years. Whereas if we look at, if I didn't have solar, what my electric bill would have been, you can see here, it would have been, you know, around 7,500 over those four years total. Um, originally I had planned that it would be about $150 per month for my house. So, um, 1800 per year. And then in 2021, I had a um, increase of $20. I'm just, you know, predicting that. Uh, as I'm sure you guys know, and probably the reason why you're looking at this video is because, you know, your electric prices are, are going up and you're looking, hey, should I get solar or not? Um, so I just factored in a, a modest, you know, $20 gain um, over 21 and 22 there. All right, so grand total, $8,000 I have if, um, now that I have solar, I have $8,000 more than I wouldn't have if I never got solar. Um, so that's obviously great, right? Four years, $8,000 more, we wouldn't get it. Um, you know, it depends on your house conditions and you know, your financial situation, everything like that, but it's turned out great for me for these four years. Now, you know, obviously I'm stuck with them for 25. So let's get into um, you know, the full life of these solar panels and kind of extrapolate what, what has happened now um, over 15 years. So I took the averages, multiplied them by 15 years. Um, and obviously the s as I said in the previous video, they only last for 15 years. So you can see here over the next 10 years, um, you know, zero dollars from s -Rex. And I've also taken into account um, that degradation. So just real quick and simple, I and to be on the, the safer side, I've said, you know, the last 10 years, they're 85% efficient, right? Um, so just taking that into account um, we look at the totals here, uh, we can see that this net, right, instead of me being positive, I'm down $24,000. Um, so, you know, that's obviously changing because the s aren't there, right? But now, if we look at 
what you know I would have had to pay over you know these um, you know twenty five years. I did uh, put in a uh, increase of like about twenty percent over you know the final final ten years. Just and that's modest, right? I, I'm sure you guys energy uh, prices are you know creeping up to to about that right even right now. But um, fifty thousand dollars total, uh, I would have spent on electric. I'm predicting over the twenty five years, right? Um, so if we actually subtract that twenty four minus that fifty, right? We get to twenty six thousand four hundred, and if we look at back at the analysis, it's it's crazy how accurate it was. So um, pretty much on par. Still, you know, predict to be saving that twenty six thousand uh, dollars over the course of these these twenty five years. So um, if you have any questions on this, you know, this this sheet's going to be available for you guys to to look at uh, in the in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, or if you think, you know, my math doesn't add up, feel free to, you know, ask me about it. But now I'll get into, uh, some of the big questions that you guys had over the course of, uh, my last video. Okay. So probably the number one question I got asked in my last video was what happens if you need to repair or replace your roof? And this is a great question. You know, every, um, you know, potential buyer of solar panel should ask this question to the insulation company. And um, I asked this question and pretty much got um, a contract in writing, which I'll put up on the screen right now, saying that this, the installation company would come out and take the solar panels off um, and I could either do repairs or replace my whole roof and they would put that back on without any expense to me. Um, so that made me feel a whole lot better um, about buying solar panels because obviously that could be a potential huge cost. Um, so I would definitely recommend for anybody buying solar panels to get that included in their contract. All right, so another common comment that I get is that, oh, so solar is only worth it because of the SREX. And yeah, that's 100% true um, in my state. Uh, I think the solar companies know uh, about the SREX, so they factor that into the equation when they're pitching it to you um, and tell you, oh yeah, it's worth it because you get the SREX. Um, in states where SREX aren't available, the solar companies have to lower their prices, right, in order to make it worth it for you financially. Um, so I think just, you know, the, the places where SREX are available, the solar companies get to make way bigger margins, unfortunately. But um, that's just how it is. So if we go ahead and look at this whole calculation without the SREX, it's, it's not worth it at all. Another common comment that I kept getting, and it's a common misconception, was that um, having solar allows you to be energy independent. And by that, I mean, you know, not having to rely on the grid at all, which is simply untrue, unless you have batteries. And from what I've heard of batteries, um, they're super expensive, and they're not really financially worth it yet. Um, so how it works when you have solar is that um, it's basically a net from what you produce that all goes back to the grid and you still consume from the grid, but um, they pretty much charge you on your net. So what you produce minus what you consume, right? So if you have a surplus from what you produce, um, you can actually get money back from the electric company. Um, obviously, if you consume more than you use, you're going to be paying some. So that's how that works. Another common question that I get is, does it increase or decrease the value of your home when you go to sell it? Um, well, according to Zillow and a couple other articles that I found online, it definitely increases the value. And if you think about it, if you know, you're saving money on electric every month and every year, um, why wouldn't that be attractive to a potential buyer? Um, so, you know, real quickly, I was just running the numbers. Um, you know, say I held the house for 25 years um, and had the solar panels on and kept them on. You know, after you're 25, the warranty's up, but uh, you're still getting production out of them. So, you know, they say it would be at 85% capacity. I'm gonna take it conservative and go to 75% capacity. And we're still going to be producing, you know, a, a good amount, um, you know, around 9,200 per year, right? Um, I doubled my electric bill from, from what it is now, uh, you know, just thinking about the rising costs and I would be producing less as well. So, 
but e even even so, right, my electric bill would have been twenty four thousand dollars. So, I mean, if you're saving an average of seventeen hundred dollars a year, um, you know, even after twenty five years, in, in ten years from your twenty six to thirty six, you're saving seventeen thousand dollars. You know, why wouldn't that be more attractive for a potential home buyer? The last comment I see from a lot of solar haters is that the manufacturing and then later on disposal of solar panels outweighs the long-term benefits of them. And Matt Farrell, he's another YouTuber, he goes into depth into this um, in one of his videos, which I'll put down in the description. But his conclusion is that the average solar panel pays for itself energy-wise after four years. So, you know, these solar panels that I've bought are going to last, you know, 30, 40, maybe longer years. Um, and so that, that argument is not even close. All right. In conclusion, I've saved about $8,000 over the first four years after having solar panels and plan to save about $26,000 over the course of 25 years. So definitely worth it for me. Um, but everyone's situation is different and it doesn't work out this way all the time, right? Um, I've heard of a lot of shady solar companies that are out there. So you really have to do your homework. And a lot has changed since I um, signed up for solar, right? I mean, SREX were 15 years for me. Now they're only 10. Um, the federal tax credit was 30 for me. And in 2023, it's moving down to 22%. So... The good news, though, is that you've already you're already on the right track. You're watching this video, you're investigating, and hopefully um, you've learned something from this video and enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like and you can subscribe for more content in the future. Uh, good luck with your solar journey, and I'll be checking back with you in another two years to see how everything has progressed. And hopefully, I'll be wearing a uh, Mets World Series shirt. Peace.